Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I am going to show you the difference between interfaces and ab abstract classes. So let's see the differences between abstract classes and interfaces. First of all, first difference between interface and abstract class is interface supports multiple inheritance, whereas abstract classes does not does not support multiple inheritance. So let's see what this mean. So in the earlier videos, I have shown you that if you define uh, two interfaces, meter i meter one or and i meter two, you can inherit from both the interfaces like this meter one, comma meter two, right? And this is valid. So you can inherit from multiple interfaces, but on the other hand, if you want to inherit from a class. Normal class or abstract class doesn't matter. You cannot inherit from multiple base classes. Okay. For example, you want to do something like this, and you have one more class, meter one. You cannot write like this. Okay. So interfaces support multiple inheritance, whereas abstract classes does not. The second difference is interfaces. Doesn't contain data members or fields, and abstract classes contains data members. So let's see what this mean. Your interface. When I define, for example, I want to define some field int or int a b c, for example, some 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 field. It's not allowed in interface. When you compile this program, it will give you an error because you cannot define fields in interfaces. On the other hand, if you want to define fields in abstract classes, you can do so. So you can just define public int abc, and when you compile your program, it will compile fine. This error is not for uh, this um, field, but you, uh, we, I haven't provided the implementation of this abstract class, so this error f is for that. But you can define these fields for abstract classes, and you cannot define fields for interfaces, right? The third difference is interfaces doesn't have constructor, and abstract classes have constructor, right? So it's easy uh, by definition only. You can see a class can have constructor, right? But in interface is not a class, and in, that's why it doesn't have constructor. Okay. The fourth difference is interface contains only incomplete members, whereas abstract abstract classes can come contain incomplete member or complete members. So in the earlier videos, I have shown you that uh, your uh, interface, for example, this only contains the incomplete member you cannot def der or define the definition of this print meter or other definition inside your interface you cannot define the definition of this method inside your interface right but on the other hand your abstract class can contain this kind of a method for example print meter which have like this and which can have Definition if it's not an abstract method, okay. So you can have a normal method inside your abstract class which can have definitions. You can just print any message here, right? But you cannot provide definition or source code inside your interface method, okay. The fifth difference is an interface can have access modifiers by default. That means all interface uh, access mo uh, uh, members are public. Okay, so interface cannot have access modifier. On the other hand, your uh, abstract classes can have access modifiers, subs, function, properties. So you can see the, these method declaration, and you can easily say that this access specifier public. You can have access specifier in the abstract member declaration but when you try to define this 
or when you try to give public specifier to interface method it's not valid okay and let's see the last difference the member of interface can be cannot be static right but uh, only complete members of abstract class have a static method that means you cannot define your interface method like this static okay it doesn't it's not allowed but on the other hand i can have static method inside my abstract class if it's not a abstract method this cannot have static member or this cannot be declared as like this because this should be static so it this abstract method cannot be defined as static but if you define a normal method inside a abstract class it can be static method right so this should be not like this but here static comes and it's totally valid but if your abstract class have abstract method this cannot be static but normal method inside the abstract class can be uh, can be declared as static so these are some of the differences or you can say uh, interface versus class uh, differences in c sharp I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye.